What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be changing the setup on the bed of my truck. I'm super pumped to finally get this bed set up on my truck. So stick around. We're going to go ahead and get into this install. So if you guys have been around on the channel for a while, you probably remember the body armor 4x4 bed rack that I used to have on the truck. I ended up selling that to a second gen owner actually because that bed rack was just a little bit too tall for my liking. Uh, it kind of sat flush with the Prinsu rack up there so it was nice aesthetically speaking. Uh, putting the bed rack on there it lined up really nice but once I threw the rooftop tent on there it was a little bit too tall with the tent on there. I couldn't fit the truck into the garage which is where I park it every day. So it was kind of annoying you know throwing the rooftop tent up there and not being able to park in the garage while it's up there because I like to have my truck protected in the garage at all times. So yeah, I ended up selling that and I've been rackless for about six months or so now, uh, which is fine because it has been summer in Florida, it's way too hot. Even now, temps are starting to go down, but it's still too hot out. So that's why I ended up getting rid of the rack and that's been okay, the rooftop tent's just been stored in the garage for the summer. But that said, temps are starting to drop in Florida. It's fall, but Florida really only has two seasons, which are summer and a little bit of winter, which I'm really hoping this winter comes fast because it is super hot out still. It's like 80 degrees right now that I'm filming this video. But that said, with temps starting to drop, it is getting close to camping season. And I'm hoping to get out a few times this year and go camping with the Body Armor 4x4 rooftop tent. So in today's video, we are going for a more low profile bed bar setup. And I got these bed bars from Billy Bars. I'm super excited to be working with them to get this set up on my truck. I think it's going to be really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get right into the install. All right, so as you can see here, I started unboxing the Billy Bars. And in a minute, I'm going to go over everything that I got from them. But I just wanted to note real quick, they wrote me this uh, nice little note here saying, thanks for your purchase. Enjoy the Billy Bars. So that's super cool. Love when a small company like this throws a little personal touch on the packaging. Super cool of them. Nate and Billy, awesome guys. They've been great to work with so far. But let's go ahead and finish getting this unboxed. All right guys, so here's everything that came in the package. We have the four mounting points, obviously two on each side, as well as two bars. I thought about going with three bars, but honestly, I think two is enough. These are uh, pretty beefy. They're pretty big uh, extruded aluminum, of course. And I think that'll be fine because I have a pretty lightweight tent and I'm not too, too fat. Um, in addition to that, I went ahead and got a bike mounting point. So this is gonna be for the rear tire, and I have my mountain bike over here, but I also have a front tire mounting point from Amazon that I think should work with the Billy Bar, so we're gonna go ahead and try that out as well. But this is everything I got. Um, also, if you're wondering, this is a strap that kinda holds the back tire onto the mounting point. And then obviously I have the mounting hardware for this, so this should be a pretty straightforward, pretty easy install. So by the way, if you're wondering, this is how the truck is sitting right now. I just have this Tiger, uh, I think it's like a T1 or T3 tonneau cover. It's a roll-up. I'll have that linked in the description if you want to check it out. But basically, the bed bars that I'm putting on, the Billy bars, they're going to actually work with this tonneau cover. So these mounting points right here are going to go over, sit on top of the bed sides under the actual rails for the tonneau cover so that I'm going to be able to keep the tonneau cover on but still have a bed rack, bed bars on my truck to mount the rooftop tent. So that's super cool. And that's one of the reasons why I actually went with Billy Bars is because I wanted to keep a tonneau cover or some protection because I live in Florida, it rains all the time. So I need that protection from the rain. So that said, the first step here is actually going to be getting the tonneau cover ready for this install. I'm not 100% sure if I need to completely take the tonneau cover off to install this. I think I could just kind of like loosen it a little bit and keep it on uh, at least like pushed up to the back so i'm gonna go ahead and roll this up loosen it up and get ready for the install all 
All right, so installation is pretty straightforward. You have these little T-slot nuts that obviously are going to slide into the rails on the truck. And then you have the bracket itself. So this is gonna sit like this. Uh, the T-slot nut's gonna be back behind like this. And then you simply just bolt it through like so. And then you're good to go. So it's gonna be two on each of those, so 16 total bolts and then you have your brackets in place. And then we have these little star pattern bolts that are gonna go through the bracket here and into the extruded aluminum crossbars. And that's about it for the install. So this should be pretty simple. Alright, so as you just saw, I hand tightened down and just kind of loosely installed the side brackets. So I'm going to go ahead and do the crossbars across and then get everything tightened down, including the tonneau cover. All right, so as you guys just saw, I threw the bars up there just to test fit, see, and make sure that they were straight. And then I went ahead and tightened back down the tonneau cover as well as the brackets. So these are fully tightened. These uh, side brackets are on there solid. So now the only part left to do is to actually install the cross members here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get those tightened down. All right guys, so as you can see here, I have the billy bars installed at the moment. Uh, I didn't install the bike tray yet. I think I might need to shift these around a little bit and see what the distance I need for mounting the bike up because this front bar here is going to have the front mount for the axle of the bike. And then the back one's obviously going to have that billy bars tray. So I might need to tweak that a little bit, but that's gonna be a project for tomorrow as well as the side moly panel that I'm gonna be putting on here. So far everything looks great, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and finish up the install tomorrow. All right, so it is the next night of this install. I am going to be installing the bike stuff to be able to mount the bike onto the billy bars. In addition to that, I'm gonna be installing a side moly panel that kind of hangs off the side here. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm working on. All right, so right here is a cheapo Amazon tire mount or I guess a uh, front bike axle mount for the bike that I'm going to be putting on the front crossbar up there. I had to drill out the holes a little bit so that I could fit the carriage bolts that I have that are going to work with the extruded aluminum here. So that's just me drilling these out a little bit. As you can see the carnage, I just did that real quick to see if it would work. But that's going to be going on the front billy bar and then this is the bike plate that goes on the second. So. It just kind of sits up there like that. All right, so in addition to that, I have this molly panel that's gonna be going on the side. So there are these two mounts that kind of go on the side like this. And then obviously you have the molly panel running down the side. So that's gonna be project number two for tonight. And then we should be wrapped up. Otherwise, we'll be getting the uh, tent and whatnot on. All right, so as you can see, we have the bike stuff locked on. Don't mind this, it's still loose. But this is on sturdy onto the billy bar. And then I have this bolted down pretty good here. So this should be pretty solid, not going anywhere. 
as well as this. So now the last step here before we go ahead and start throwing stuff onto the bars is putting on the side moldy panels, which should be a pretty straightforward, simple install. All right guys, so there you have it. Here is the Billy Bar setup with the Molly panel and the bike setup on it as well. I will say one thing, you know, they use these little like security screws and give you an Allen wrench for it. My forearms are absolutely burning doing these eight, uh, 10, 12, however many of these that I had to tighten down. My forearms are absolutely burning. So that's one thing to look out for. Maybe if you order this, see if you can find the correct size drill bit or you know bit for your impact so you don't have to manually tighten it down but overall really liking how this looks on the truck it sits pretty well on the side you know sticks out a couple inches but i think it'll look really cool and if you are wondering if i can still roll the cover out even though these are pretty short i went with the five inch ones in hindsight maybe i would have gone with the eight inch but i really think i'm going to like the look of the tent sitting pretty low on the truck with the five inch ones. So either way, I think I'm still able to roll up and roll out the roll up tonneau cover that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and show you guys how I'm gonna do that. So as you just saw, it's definitely more of a process trying to get the roll-up tonneau cover back into place. It's a little bit easier to roll up, but it's harder to get it back into place with the five inch brackets, but overall still doable. So if you really need to do that, you can go ahead and do it. Otherwise, if you're not too uh, keen on doing that, you can always just unscrew the sides and take the bars off, which is what I was kind of planning to do anyway. All right guys, so there you have it. That's it for today's install of the Billy Bars. I'm super pumped to have these on the truck. They look great, especially with the Molly panel on the side. I think that it's gonna be an awesome setup throwing the rooftop tent on here as well as hopefully fitting on my bike as well in case I want to have the tent on and have the bike on as well for a little bit of mountain biking or just regular biking wherever I'm going. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well. Next week, I'm going to be putting the tent and the bike on the truck, showing you guys the full setup that I'm going with as well as talking a little bit about what I'm wanting to put on the Molly panel on the side. So make sure you're subscribed for that if you aren't already. Otherwise, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.